Hey everyone, welcome back to the first video of 2023. Hope you guys are all having a really good start to the new year and getting back into the routine of things. I wanted to kick off this first video with a new background, so here we are. It's sort of inspired by the dark academia trend mixed in with a bit of modern. I'm still waiting for a few cushions, so that's probably gonna go, but this will do for now. So in this video, I want to talk about some of my wardrobe and beauty goals for the year. There's a couple things that I want to share with you as well in the video, and then we'll also chat about what you can expect from me on this channel and also what you guys might want to see more of this year. I want to give a moment to some home items. I don't know if you guys are into interior design or decor, but if you've been watching or if you watched my last video, you'll notice that I've been getting into ambient lighting, things like table lamps or anything with a warm and dim light. I've been slowly adding them into my space and I wanted to give this little guy a shout out. It's by an Italian brand cartel and it gives off just the most beautiful reflection in this warm light. A slightly different style that I would typically go for, but I think it just suits the space so well. And lamps like these are just perfect to zhuzh up any space. You can even bring it outdoors because it is wireless and battery powered. It looks so pretty on a patio, especially if you're maybe hosting a dinner outdoors. So, so, so pretty. I also picked up this book on plants recently. I think it would make a really great coffee table book. I don't naturally have a green thumb, but I do enjoy looking through this. It'll tell you the level of care each plant needs and also the toxicity of each plant, which would be important for anyone with pets. So a lot of really good information for plant novices like myself. Truthfully, I also just really like the way the cover looks and how this fits in with the theme here. You guys have probably seen the Architectural Digest one before. It's a pretty popular um, coffee table book, but I did think this one was a little different. Highly recommend you guys adding plants or lighting into your space because I do think your atmosphere can really impact your mood and your well being. And for me personally, I want my space to resemble relaxation, calm, and also a little romantic. And, you know, especially after a long day of work. Let's talk about some wardrobe goals and what I'm focusing on this year in terms of fashion and, and also beauty. I don't think it's going to be a surprise, but for anyone new here, I have been focusing on basics and essentials and really just, I guess, buying better quality things. There's still some gaps in my wardrobe though. We are still searching for the perfect pair of trousers, denim. We're forever going to be on the hunt for jackets and coats as well. So you can expect to see more of that on this channel. But I do also want to try to do more styling videos for you guys maybe with some work outfits but likely on shorts maybe tiktok and instagram and of course the aritzia try-ons but let me know what else you guys are interested in seeing or seeing more of from me and, and this channel so i haven't really spoken to you guys or really shown you any handbags on this channel i am sort of revisiting that section of my wardrobe and i do think they are essential to to making an outfit i wanted to share what i'm currently looking for right now which is primarily no logos, understated, and just really simple. This ties into the goal of purchasing things that are, you know, key pieces and they're going to be timeless and hopefully lead to longevity. I want these things to work with my current wardrobe and also things that I, I get excited to wear. So the first one I want to show you is this leather crossbody bag that I picked up really recently and has quickly become a favorite. It's from Cost. You might have seen it before online. Emma Hill was, I believe, the first person I saw talking about this as an alternative to the Rose Banana Bag. Like I said, I'm really into no logo bags, so think brands like The Row or Kate. I'll also link some other options that I'm really into right now. I was looking for something crossbody, but a little more elevated than a nylon sporty fanny pack. I actually think I prefer this one over the banana bag for a couple of reasons, mainly the price and size. This is somewhere in between the two sizes the row offers, and it's also on the more affordable side in comparison. This does have an adjustable strap. I'm wearing it on the second shortest length, but you can adjust it to fit a bit longer if you wanted to. It's super light, soft, squishy, and just effortlessly chic. 
I did order this online. Apparently it's been sold out at least in the Toronto stores since last summer. So if you are interested, you're probably better off ordering online. You will end up paying a little more with the conversion rate as well as the customs duties taxes. It came to around 230 Canadian for me. So if you're looking for a cool, chic crossbody bag, then I think this is a really, really good one. I'm also looking for a shoulder bag and I do have my eye on the half moon by the row. I'm typically a a crossbody or a top handle kind of girl but something about this just looks so classic and chic I love the simplicity of it and also the little curve at the top I think it would be so versatile and if I do end up picking this up you'll probably see me styling it in future videos or I can also do a little mini review for you guys as well so let's talk about shoes. We're still looking for those staple pieces and one of the things that I was missing or I wanted to elevate was a pair of black pumps. I've been seeing a lot of patent footwear lately, boots, loafers, platforms, and also sandals. These are classic enough to wear into the office, but also flirty enough to wear on a night out. I love the super pointed toe and the shape of this heel. It has this rounded out shape, which makes it almost more architectural looking. It's also in a comfortable heel height, but I'll link other slingback options as well because I have seen some really good options. Everyone needs a pair of black heels and I just thought the pattern adds a bit of edginess to it and it makes it a little more interesting, especially when or most of my outfits are a little more neutral up top, then I think adding something patent really kind of spices things up a little. I also love the fact that it's a slingback because sometimes a closed toe pointed shoe just just looks a little heavy with certain outfits. In terms of sizing, I did go up half a size. These are a 36. I'm typically a 35 and a half. I did size up half a size just so I can get a little more room around the toe area. Because it is patent, it's not going to stretch at all. So I wanted it to be a little more comfortable. And also surprisingly, the strap also works out for me and it wasn't too loose. I do want to mention though that because it is a slingback, your heel will make a flopping sound when you're walking so that might be something to consider. Moving on to my goal and focus for skincare. I want to focus on tackling some problem areas that I have, which is usually redness around the nose. I want to even out my skin tone. Wrinkle prevention is, of course, very important as well. And I also want to maintain or increase the firmness of my skin because as we age, we do tend to lose some elasticity. So I really wanted to introduce a LED light therapy mask into my routine. And it was something that I was researching at the end of last year and honestly this couldn't have come at a better time current body did reach out and they were one of the two brands that i was looking into so they they sent me their led mask which was featured on emily in paris let me know if you guys enjoy the show as much as i do so what does this thing even do Essentially, LED, specifically red light therapy and infrared light therapy, is said to reduce redness, fine lines and wrinkles, affirms your skin, even out the skin tone, and promotes collagen, which generally makes your skin glowy and more youthful. Don't get me wrong, I think aging is a natural and beautiful thing, but if I can prevent a wrinkle from happening without getting something done surgically or injectables, then I'm going to try. Some things to look out for though to ensure that these masks will be effective is the wavelength of each LED light, which this one does check off the boxes for. And also with repeated and consistent use, you should be able to see really similar results as you would if you were to go into a, a beauty clinic. So I'm going to give this one a go. I do have a 15% off coupon code just for you guys in case you guys wanted to try it out for yourself. Another product I want to introduce into my routine is a retinol. I haven't decided which one I wanted to try yet. I typically use a vitamin C serum as well as some other serum. So if you guys are interested in seeing a skincare routine, then let me know. Retinol is supposed to boost the production of collagen, which creates that plumping effect to our face, which makes us look a little more youthful and fills in the fine lines and wrinkles and also said to benefit enlarged pores, which are all things that I mentioned before that I wanted to improve upon for my skin. It's supposed to also even out your skin tone and texture as well. So I'll be adding that into the routine, but I do want to wait until I've used the LED mask for at least a month or two first, just so I can really isolate any kind of results that I, I might be seeing um, before I introduce a new product into the mix. 
Another thing I'm trying for better skin, or at least for this month, was dry January, and I'm happy to report that I did not break my streak. Um, let me know if you guys were also on the same boat and how it went for you guys. Our livers take about 30 days to fully recover, so I really wanted to try it out and see what it would do for my general health, what it would do for my skin, and also if I would get better sleep. If you watched my previous video, I did mention that I wanted to sleep better this year, and that was a goal of mine. One thing that got me through it was discovering mocktails, which is something that I think I might actually continue with because I did actually notice that my skin is a little smoother. I haven't done anything differently. Really, the only thing that I, I changed was um, cutting down on the alcohol. So the goal is more mocktails and maybe a little less cocktails this year. I hope you guys enjoyed that video. Let me know what some of your goals are. I'm actually also thinking about starting a blog this year. Do you guys even still read blogs? I'm thinking I can maybe add links or update things a lot quicker on there. And also sometimes there are things that maybe I might want to review or do an in-depth review that I might not want to post on YouTube. I'm also going to try to post more on TikTok and Instagram, maybe some um, get ready with me's unboxings when I do them daily routines I don't know we'll figure it out thank you guys for watching and I hope to see you in the next one bye